Peace and greetings, my loves. What's good? It's your girl, Naya Thrice here, back for another 31 days of tarot. It is day two. I'm sorry. It is day three. <laughs> um, top five Oracle decks of 2018, ones that I purchased or that were released. So we're going to start with one that I purchased. It wasn't released in 2018, but I purchased it in 2018. And this is the Moon Oracle. Um, it deals with the mansions of the moon, which the mansions of the moon could be a subject that I might be delving in deeper to um, in 2019, especially given my, my uh, energy and major lesson reading. But, um, you know, I... I've done a few readings with this deck and I have to say it's um there's something about it that really attracts me it could just <laughs> sorry it could just be um you know uh just working with the symbolism of astrology through cards um you know the different phases they mean stuff a really good book on moon phases um is done by Demetra george um i'm gonna have to show you guys that on a on a video moving forward but you know there's different things going on with the different phases of the moon what it means in your natal chart what it means um for current transits and stuff like that. Then we have like the mansions of the moon that have here uh, planets um, and signs and in which deacon it is in. And then there's images that go with it. There's also a book, Mansions of the Moon um, by, uh, why am I, I'm having a brain. I always have brain blanks when I do 31 days of tarot. What's up with that, man? Um, <laughs> um, oh God, the guy who does, who, who has the Renaissance astrology website, Christopher, why am I having, why am I having a brain thing? Anyways, he has a book on mansions of the moon and he also has a course as well. Uh, I may take that this year. So I'll, I'll leave the information on that below because man, I'm seriously having a brain blank. But anyways, this deck, um, I got in 2018 and I, I find it very insightful. It's, you know, it's definitely unique. It's definitely different, um, from a lot that's out there, but I continue to, I want to continue to use this in 2019, uh, even though I got it in 2018. Um, another hit that we got in 2018 is the Cardomancer poker deck by, um, Alan Benoit. Benoit. I hope I'm saying your name right. He's such a sweet guy too. Um, anyways, I did do a walkthrough of this uh, towards the end of 2018. Um, but I, I got it in the beginning and I'd used it a lot. A lot, a lot. I even spilled water on it. It And it's held up great. Doesn't even look like it's, you know, been touched. I caught it pretty fast, but still. Um great deck um these are the backs they're so good um but they have like uh, Jungian archetypes on each of the cards let me bring that a little bit closer so you can see um, and uh really really good stuff here so that's number two. Oh, what did i do here that's number two. Number three is the number three is the Arcana playing cards by Dead on Paper. Um, now I received this is the first edition I received this set as a gift in 2018, but a second edition was released in 2018 um i did get a copy of that i'm gonna do a comparison video um it may be up by the time you see this it may not but it's coming soon if you haven't if it, you know if it hasn't come out yet um but basically they're playing cards um that also have 
So the original version has both uh, white cards uh, or light cards and dark set of cards. So you have like these guys here. So you have like the page is like the, um, the page is the page. And then you have the, the jack, which is like the, I'm being very fumbly today. I don't know what's going on with me, man. Oh, I forgot there's alternate jack cards in here. Um, anyways, so there's major arcana cards, um, that you can add into the playing card deck, but then the minors or the, you know, are pip cards. So, oh, whoa, linen card stock. I almost lost them. <laughs> um, you know, so the minors just look like like playing cards, and then you can add the the major cards to create um, a tarot deck. So, really fun, very versatile um, deck. I really, really like this deck. And um, so, like I said, there was a version of it that was released in twenty eighteen, uh, second edition. So it is available for folks who are interested in this deck. Um, I think. The second edition is only the dark um, version, so just kind of FYI. I act like I'm doing a whole review and I'm just supposed to be sharing what I liked in 2018. So that's so that's three. Okay, um, number four. Uh, now these decks were not released in 2018, but I purchased them in 2018. And um, these next two are gonna be Lenormand cards. So uh, Lenormand decks. So the Reign of George Lenormand. Da, da, da. Fantastic deck, absolutely fantastic. Um, I intuitively want to use this deck all the time like i even have it in my purse now like i have a tarot in my purse and a lenormand in my purse and the reina george is the one that lives in my purse so that's what's going on with that very very beautiful deck here um i'm so happy that i got my you know got a, a copy for myself and started using it and man i just just like sync synchronized right away um and then last but not least it is the uh, another Lenorm Lenormand deck the 1889 Lenormand Oracle by For the Seekers on Etsy um I got the bridge size and the mini version so these are the beautiful backs they're so gorgeous um and these cards are really beautiful as well. So I really do trade off between this one and the Raina George quite often. So these are like my top two um, used Lenormand decks that I own and I received them or purchased them in 2018. Um, they're so... They're so good, man. They're so good. I'm gonna show you a few more. And since the moon came up for me, we're gonna kick it with the moon one last time. We're just gonna stop there. So those have been my top five Oracle decks. I look forward to watching your responses and I will talk to you on the next one. Much love, many blessings, peace.